Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see this sum in isometric. Now two views are given, elevation and plan. So if you see length is 100 plus 40, 140. Height is 90 plus 15, 105. And width is 88. So we'll start with this part. If you see this is 20 and there is a slope over here. So slope is important. But before that, we'll mark this 20, 20, 40. I'll be drawing light first. So there are two rectangles of 20, 20 each. So that I can take it behind also. Now when I see this, this part is 15 down, so I can take 15 down. So this will be 88. This is 30 down. After that, if you see this is radius 25, so diameter 50, so I'll draw a rhombus of side 50. Then you draw longest diagonal, you mark midpoint, midpoint, join to the opposite corner, you'll get a rhombus like this. Then from here you draw R. This is point 1. See actually there is no circle over here but I'm just drawing it because I know that I'll be using it behind. I have to push this circle behind and this slope is important so that's why I'm drawing this circle. Now if you see this is 40. You take this point behind. How much you have to go behind? 88 minus 40, 44. Sorry, 48. So this circle will also go behind by 44. Sorry, 48 and 40. So I'll take first behind by 88. So I'll take point 1 and 2 behind by 88. And I'll draw tangent also from here. So I'll take 88. This is one dash, two dash. So from one you will draw a curve and you cut from one dash. From two you draw a curve and from two dash you cut. And you draw a tangent. Now here it is 48, so you go behind by 48, this will be dark. Draw vertical line and from here also you go inside, from here you extend. This is 48. So I'll take from 1, 48 behind and from 2, 48 behind. So that will be 1 double dash and 2 double dash. Now I'll take this radius. From one double dash, I will draw arc. From 
from 2 I will take and from 2 double dash I will draw R tangent you will draw this and from here also you join this so this way we are done with this part now we need to draw circle inside now for circle we required center point so I'll go up by 25 See from here I will draw rhombus, I will go up by 25, this is 50, midpoint is 25, then you go inside by 25, and from here you draw a vertical line, and from here you go up by 9, you go down by 9, again left, 9, 9, draw vertical line so that's how you'll get rhombus you'll draw longest diagonal and from center to the midpoint you can join like this so this is 0 0.5 0 0.5 6 7 8 and you can draw circle this is by four center method Now after this, we will draw this line. Now if you see the second rectangle over here, this rectangle, it can be straight also, it can be slope also. So I am taking it as a slope. If you see in our thumbnail, it is straight. So I am giving you both the possibilities. See it has to go inside by 20. And from here, I am taking it slope incline. So this is also correct and the one which is given in thumbnail, that is also correct. My idea was to give you both the answers. Now the rectangle part. draw a vertical line it goes inside like this so we are done with this sum i hope everyone understood this thank you